What you laughing at, Ross? So sad, bro. <laughs> so sad, bro. Well, what's going on, folks? Man, this is your boy Doug. Uh, got ITC podcast episode twenty nine. Got the homie Ross and Graylin in here right now. What's good? What's good? Um, what's how y'all homies feeling today, man? Y'all straight? Pretty good, man. Can't complain, man. Blessed to be here. Blessed and highly favored. You know. Yeah, man. Um. We were actually going over the topics before mm-hmm. we started, and that's kind of why Ross, yeah, entered. You hear his laughter maybe in a few oh seconds. My gosh, uh, entanglement. Um, the August Alcina track, um, mm-hmm. featuring geez. Rick Ross. Um, want to get you guys' reaction on that? We we did a reaction on the channel. I felt disrespected <clears throat> in a little bit because you know I'm just like, damn, bro, you talking about a married woman at the end of the day that they've gotten over the situation. And she got kids that's damn near almost a little bit of your age, you know, not too far, you know. So I got to hear a track about my mom back getting blown out or whatever. You got to run them hands, bro. We we got to run. It's on site. <laughs> that's an on site situation, bro. I mean, hey, it's 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 all about capitalizing on the situation, and this is what all you can capitalize, but <laughs> you about to get I some mean, action popping. It's it's. My biggest thing, if August want to make the track, cool, what else? My biggest thing is, why is Rick Ross there? That's what I want to know. Like, what does Rick Ross have to do with he needed, anything? He needed, a, he needed a bad feature on that, man. Like, he needed somebody, he needed somebody else to tell his story in a way. That's, a rapper, in a rapping way. That's what he needed. Sure. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's <laughs> sure. It's and sad, bro. No, what do you, I think what he need? I think what he need is to just he just need to sit down. Just sit down. You talking about August? Yeah. Like why you why you why you why you why you why are you doing this? Let it go. Why you, not, even, not even letting it go. It's just like yeah, let it go. We're just like why are you why are you doing this? <laughs> like it was it was. I think it was. I think it was real fun and funny. It was cute. You know, when we all was like speculating, mm-hmm. but like now that it's out and we like seeing what's really going on, it's like, all right, yeah, both y'all, both y'all niggas need to go away. <laughs> you get it? You all y'all need to go away. Uh, that's... Get back together. All right. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, man. like it's. I'm 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 kind of sick of it. Will don't deserve. And like I said, man. like I said on the last podcast, man. You see, niggas don't know how to just niggas don't know how to just niggas back here kissing and telling. You know what I'm saying? Putting it on tracks, mm-hmm. sitting down doing interviews, telling it like, bro, bro, when you when you do that with a with an older chick or with a baddie, you don't be out here just spilling it like that. Expressing themselves. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like, man, you, you, man, look, if she did you wrong, charge it to the game. Keep it moving, man. That keep a player. Are, are, are we keeping it player anymore nowadays? Is the question. Oh my god, man, that nigga not. <laughs> Way the whole track, and went into yeah, great man. detail. You know what, oh, bro? That man, that's you just what. Up. I'm a- you trying to pie. <laughs> you trying to pie? I might, I might wait. I might, I might have to renege that statement. Hold up. Wait. I, got, I think I got a couple tracks, man, like that. <laughs> Do you have a couple <laughs> tracks like that? I don't know. What, what, Entanglement what, too. <laughs> Entanglement too. You stupid. <laughs> the original. Wait, wait, would would drifting be considered a track like that? Mm. I think you really like. See the thing with it. Okay, let, let me tell you the difference. Is because people wouldn't know who you're talking about. Like, yeah. I can assume, oh, but man. I really don't know. With this situation, it's like it's we Britain. know. That's like us right. knowing. That's like you dating somebody we all know. And she used the word for a phrase that she always did that dealt with you two. And then you make a yeah. song titled that word that she used. It is like, come on, bro. Not only do we know I'm who you date. I'm in the clear. I'm in the clear. Yeah, I can talk. Yeah. I can talk my. I mean, it's you. You I would have a track like that. I wouldn't be able to talk my talk. 
Yeah, I mean, even he could have called it. I mean, cause he was still talking about a lot of shit. And Ross was really subliminal with the feeling jaded, my willpower feeling jaded and shit. Yeah. yeah. His favorite yeah. artist, Tupac, and bullshit. Yeah. It's, um, it's, but I mean, he could have called Ross, it something you else. Got Ross some shit. Nah. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are you doing, bro? Go to wing stop, bro. Go chill. Let me pepper pepper my wings. Put a molly on and a drink. We ain't forget, nigga. Yeah, nigga. We, we ain't forget about forget. that shit. You putting yeah, shit in people's drinks. All of a sudden, where was good. y'all when y'all first heard that line? Cause that song slapped. I, I don't even think I, I didn't recognize the line. Like I, you know how when you just groove into a song and you <laughs> yeah. ain't even recognizing that shit. I did not yeah. recognize it until the somebody fact, pointed it out. Like I was chilling. I'll never forget that I was chilling. Like man, this whole slap. And I've heard it a couple times already. But then someone had brought my attention. He said it. I was like, no, he didn't. Put a molly on her champagne. She. But no, see, like, it's like, like you're saying, like, when we first heard it, it was just like, I guess, not to it, say that shit is just like normal. Yeah. That's, just what, but, that's what niggas is just talking about in this song. But for us, it was just like, shit, that whole, that whole jam, you know? Yeah. Like, we, yeah. like, we heard what he was saying, like, what about now? Oh, okay. Like, oh, okay. She man, didn't know. I, I took the whole night, enjoyed she that. Smashed. She didn't even know it. I was like, damn, that nigga was a player. Boy, she didn't know she he did that. Man. And then he caused some backlash. And we, oh, that's so we, funny, bro. When he caused the backlash, and we just had some time to like sit down and like dodge this. He was like, hold on. Yeah. Hey, man, you can't do that. <laughs> Niggas start scratching that. their head. They go, wait. Well, like, what? Dude, we we said, condone. Then you took her bro. home. You took yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. Yeah. She that's when you get that. Uh, that wait, did, do she know she enjoyed it? <laughs> That's when you get that Mr. Krabs confused face. You just like, oh, shit, I've been jamming this shit. Right. Uh, you how jamming? long? You do. I mean, you, made, you, you made up a dance with it too. Molly on the poop. Molly on the poop. <laughs> I hit that whole Molly. Molly, she didn't Molly. Know it. She didn't and you, know yeah. it. And I was like, oh, shoot. Shit. Yeah. I was like, nah. oh, damn, bro. Give me, that, give me that Molly back. Give me back. Give me back. I just I mean, that's like a lot the- of songs though. Like, didn't don't they got like a few segments where they show um, artists and like gay shit they say? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> they they like yeah. dive into the lyrics on shit that they said. Like, what's yeah. that, that track with Juicy J? Y'all know what track I'm talking about, bro. I can't think of it, dog. He says mm-hmm. some. He says something that revolves around the booty hole being played with. I was like, oh, um, and it's a classic song. Everybody knows the song, bro. That's what's so. <laughs> And I'll be looking around to see who's saying that part <laughs> with such aggression. <laughs> Niggas don't even know what the hell they saying. That's why you gotta right. pay attention to some lyrics now, man. It's it's yeah. Before you be bobbing your head, you be bobbing your head to some shit that you ain't even trying Mario to agree with. No champagne. She ain't even know it. I took it home and I enjoyed that. I'm talking. She, about we in the club. She ain't even know it. She's turning up and shit. Don't even the uh, hell. No, because sometimes you? sometimes the lyrics don't hit until like you know <laughs> later. Because the I mean, at least for me. The beat hit me first. Yeah, boom. No, facts. If, if the beat, beat cold, I'm a rock with That you know, and I so think like that's, the lyrics don't hit to like later on, like after you know. I think Ross knew down. that. I I think Ross knew this beat was gonna be so hard. He could say whatever <laughs> bullshit he <laughs> wants, and nobody's have. gonna get. Nobody's gonna know the wiser. The question is. What the fuck was the producer and the homies <laughs> around him was doing when he recorded that shit? Those Molly are the real on people. Her champagne. She ain't even know it. I took the home and I enjoyed that. She ain't even. Niggas in that house like, yo, Ross. You going with that one? Why he eating his lemon pepper wings? Yeah, that's that's the one. Keep it, keep it. Lemon pepper. That, that nigga's shit. That nigga, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Ross, know. I, don't, I don't know, bro. I don't, keep it, bro. Keep it, bro. Keep it, though. Keep All right. it. All right, run it back from the top. <laughs> that's it. I remember when we did that shit, bro. Yeah, she ain't even know that shit. You she gave me she one. Didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Look who it is, Mally Mal, Team Jesus in the Hi. building. Mally Mal. What's head. good? What's good? What's so, happening, guys? Hi, Graylin. Hello. <laughs> no, it's, it's been a while. You know. Oh, y'all two have been at the I same time. That was kind of dry, but, you know. I feel like it wasn't matching my energy, but that's all right, though. I will. I tried. <laughs> that's all right. Sad. Niggas grow their hair out and think they all that. That's okay. Damn. What? Did you grow your hair out? That means. Did you grow your hair out? Because it look. Oh, did you need a haircut? Nah, a little bit of both. 
okay. You come on here trying know. people. You're the team Jesus. Hey, you know, the team Jesus. Team Jesus. You supposed to be team Jesus. I am. Jesus. I love the Lord. Team well, we Lucifer off the right topic now. Then <laughs> off the topic we was just on. <laughs> no, you gotta ask okay, You gotta ask the let question. Me, let me let me get serious. Where, where were you? Go ahead, Ross. Finish it. All right. Where were you when you heard the uh, the infamous lyrics from that famous track? You ain't even know it by Rick Ross. Put a Molly on her champagne. You ain't even know it. I took it home and I enjoyed that shit. She ain't even know it. When did you realize what he was? When did you realize that's what this nigga just (laughs) said? And what the fuck is going on here? And why is everybody still bent jamming this shit? I mean, I realized it kind of like right then. Like Like when you first heard it? I'm so serious. She was dancing your ass off. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I really wasn't. No, well, it took like when after I heard it, I was like, because that was my first time hearing it. I was like, you was bumping, huh? He did what? Yeah, it was like one of those. You did not do that. You was turning up the whole time. (laughs) No, I wasn't. I didn't even go to clubs. (laughs) See, this is I what we even, not gonna do. See how we not nobody said you was gonna who said club guys? I didn't say club. You said, you said that turning on up. So what do you I mean, you know, you turn up at club. You can turn, you can turn up, up at, at home. a house party. I digress. You can turn up right now. I digress. Yeah, I digress. Know. Yeah, go ahead. You can turn up in the room by yourself. I was there. I was not I, I was not at the club. And I, I was not by myself. 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 But when I heard the lyric, mm-hmm. I didn't catch on like right away, but after I heard it, I was like, he said what? And then it was white, you know, whatever. Like, you digressed it wasn't me. already. The you know. <laughs> <laughs> only reason why we were talking about it because Rick Ross was uh, featured on that Entangled track with uh, August Salsina, that little <laughs> track he just dropped. So yeah. we was talking about that and why Rick Ross was even on the track inserting himself in this situation. So, yeah, I don't know if you heard it yet. He was just chasing the bag. It makes sense, you know. It makes sense. He's chasing the bag. They both yeah, creators. They both guess, what? man. You said they're both what? Creators. Predators. Oh, wait. Predators. You said predators? Yeah, you know. Okay, she's trying to pod. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> oh, can I? Can I pod? Oh, hey, is he? A, I, I didn't know. They was predators. I wasn't, I wasn't on the entanglement episode, so... You well, no, I'm talking about the track he just dropped, though. I understand that, but I the reason why I said it makes sense he's on there is because you know, um, you know, him and Jada they got something in common, so he probably wouldn't Jada be the predator? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm, that's what I mean. Like the people that are in the scenario, the situation, they're predators. She's going to that. She's about to go and that. She's she trying. <laughs> lead, lead, the way. Hey, lead the way. Lead the way. Lead the way, Noah. <laughs> Come on, Noah. <laughs> Read the way. Hey. Build that arc for us. Facts. You know what? The arc that you won't be on, okay? Oh, um, wow. I'm just kidding. Your shirt on fire. The shirt turning <laughs> red. <laughs> Team Jesus, no, Team okay, Lucifer. So this is why I call Jada a predator and why I call Rick Ross a predator. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Rick mm-hmm. Ross put it out there himself that that's what he does. He a super predator. I mean, what do you mean? He Molly's girls and he enjoys it. They don't even know it. Confused, I think... <laughs> How you got are confused, we, Ross? Are we going to really quote him on that as that's what he just enjoys to do? Maybe that was just a one-off. Okay, what if he said he touched <laughs> Maybe little Maybe that boys? was one-off. Exactly. <laughs> if he <laughs> said he touched little boys, then what? Is that right. a one-off? Maybe that that's was definitely a one-off. not a one-off if no, he starts no, saying no, some shit like that. I touched the little boy. He didn't even know it. <laughs> like, well, we just going to keep scrolling? No, Went to the not. Catholic Church to touch a little boy. He ain't even know it. <laughs> Clearly, they're used to it. Damn. Somebody should know about this. Shut up, Malisha. Somebody should know. All right, did you? <laughs> let's keep, y'all say y'all trying to pod, so let's go ahead. Let's take this shit to the next level. some lemon pepper wings in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the day we get to the next. Wow, Ross. <laughs> he said some lemon pepper wings in the back. I got some pepper wings in the back. I know you kind of famished. <laughs> <laughs> point, continue your point, Malisha. Y'all over potting. We all over. over uh, <laughs> Continue your okay, point, okay, Alicia. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you know, Ross is a predator, and um, Jade is a predator. The reason why I think Jada is a predator, we already know Ross why he is. Um, but, <laughs> but the reason why I say Jada is is because 
I feel as if she took advantage of um, August, oh. even though he is a grown man. He's a grown man. He can make his own decisions. But at the time, when you are, um, when you are like drowned in like physical ailments, mm-hmm. mental ailments, mm-hmm. like you know, you're not really in the right place to be like, I want to be in a relationship. Or I want to be in a situation ship and live in a house with your husband on the other side of the house. Like, what? Like, oh, you're not you you're not gonna you're not gonna be like, oh, you know, this is gonna be the right situation for me because August has money. He could have did it on his own, but Jada calls herself a healer. Mm-hmm. How are you? You know, you taking advantage of that person saying that he needs Great. help. You you said it in in the podcast with you and your husband. He needed help. He and I call myself the healer. So you gonna you? I don't. I didn't know that you have sex with people that you want to heal. Like I thought oh. you just. She you know, now I she really pod. That's a. I that's didn't. A, I mean, I thought, I, mean, I thought you just. You know, you are gonna talk. You are gonna red table talking like every week or mm-hmm. so. Like, I didn't know he was gonna be living in your room or living mm-hmm. in your house. Like I didn't. I didn't know that's how mm-hmm. you heal people. Maybe she took it seriously. So, well, no. She, well, yeah, of course she did. You know, she took it so serious to where she they got entangled. Her. Yeah, she got entangled. Yeah. And now you got this person who was, not was, is mentally unstable, mm-hmm. this is- still physically sick, and you just discard him because now it's all out, and you want Will, you don't want Will to be embarrassed. So you Which use him is- for your physical, it's like for your physical pleasure and for your mental, uh, your emotional healing because you. She clearly said I was hurt by what we went through, by what me and Will were going through. Mm. So she took a person that was also broken knowingly, and by her being a healer, he, mm. he clinged to that. He clung I like to that. that that's, mm. what he, that's what he needed. He needed yeah. someone <clears throat> to, to help him through what he was going through. Oh, he got the helping, all right. Yeah. No, no not really. And if, if not, well, you're fucked up. Oh, well, true. Yeah. yeah. And you know, this, this, boy, this man tried to kill himself on more than three occasions. Mm. And oh, three. He, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it was it was a lot. Like he he went through a lot. And you know, she basically used that to like build herself up. Oh, I'm gonna make him feel better, but I'm also gonna make myself feel better. But when I'm done feeling better, you're on your own, buddy. I don't know what to say. But you a healer, right? Like I that it doesn't make sense to me. And I think it's real messed up how she did him, even though yes, he is a grown man, (laughs) but when you are not in the right mindset, Mm -hmm. you that none of that even matters. Like you have somebody who knew what was going on and somebody who really didn't know mm. and wanted help, needed help. She took that, made it, you know, so gratification and all right. Mm. So I think it's messed up. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Very okay. well said. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. You were saying something, Graylin? Shit, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I was, I was saying so um that was basically just like a, like the way Natalie explained it. That was basically just like a, like a big ass, huge ass, like rebound in a way. Yeah. 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 That's exactly huh. what it was. A I mean, how, she literally said it. She said it so clear. I was hurting. I hadn't felt the way August made me feel in years. Like what? Damn. And like, we'll just sitting there. Just I, eating. Just the like, happiness. If face. something, if nothing uh, hurts worse. I eat ass face. That that hurts worse when <laughs> that's cold. You're, you're yeah, sniffing yeah, other <laughs> with the I eat ass face. <laughs> and here's the thing: uh, supposedly yeah. he didn't really know all the extra details you can that tell was going he on because he only you knew that he only knew at that point that she was you know helping him out. So that was his cosign on that part. But he didn't know, you know, what I'm saying she was you know. Engaging in other activities outside of just helping him because he knew he was going through some stuff. So for <laughs> when this all came out, you could see the the pain on his face. I'm sure he knew like what was maybe, going on, but I don't think that he, think knew, he knew. That's like, why he oh, said he, he couldn't get back with her. Because you wasn't just gonna say you wouldn't feel like you was gonna get back with somebody if they was really just low key playing like a healer. Like <laughs> I feel like the thing that pissed Will off the most was just their business being out there. Like I just, I just think they're, they kind of move in a, you know, keep my shit private, you know, type of ball game. Like it just, he kind of gave me the perception of, we passed this. This is four years old. I'm just pissed off that this kid went and opened his mouth, and then now here we are, 
Jada, you wanted to bring yourself to a table when, like I said last week, if they just wouldn't have said nothing, people would have just kept speculating. He just would have died on his own. But she made this comment of, let me bring myself to the table. And that's what made the shit go even crazier. And um, by her trying to go to the table and not still not even be real about it, <clears throat> when Will was just like, entanglement, you mean a relationship? Like, say what it mm-hmm. is. Like, you got to, res- because he was like, man, if you're going to be no, here, he say the playing. shit. But that was real, though, because he was like, look, if we're going to be here, say what the hell it is. <laughs> Because all you're doing is beating around the bush mm-hmm. and you did all this. So, um, yeah, but I just feel like he didn't want any information out there. Like, clearly they done been through it. Clearly they, you know, figured it out, found a way to keep pushing forward as a couple. And um, it just kind of got thrown out there into the public's eye. And I just think he he really is, like, disturbed by that. Because, you know, these they've always been secretive, like, as long as they were together. And, um so, yeah, I think that was, like, a big thing for him. But for August, I just feel like at this point, <clears throat> you stop looking like the victim when you keep playing into it. Like, now you're making a track and shit. Like, at first, it was like people really understood you because he actually experienced a lot of traumatic things, too, at the same time. Losing family members, mm-hmm. loved ones, and, you know, being sick on top of that. That's enough to destroy any man. Mm-hmm. But, you know, at this point, it's like, okay, you look like – you doing it because your album coming because this is four years old now. Now you ain't talking about right when y'all, you know, the situation happened. Now you're talking about years later, you know, wounds are healing. And now you come out with this because you got an album out. That's what it looks like. And then now you come out, you kind of going back and forth with people on Twitter. So now you're looking bitter. And then now mm-hmm. after the whole, mean, the whole entanglement thing, now you come out with a track called Entanglement. And this is but like, all right, bro, you know- killing this this is what the this is what the issue is. We don't know everything that no, we don't that Jada probably told him. Or I want to mm-hmm. be with you. Or you're making me feel like this. If somebody is telling you that and you in a not you're not in a clear space of what it is, like you're gonna think that oh well, since they're not together, then me and her are gonna be together. And who knows what she was telling him? Mm-hmm. Like who knows? We don't know that. You know, well, all we do we know is, she's a hell of a healer. <laughs> She be healing, yeah, all right. Clearly, like. Oh yeah. <laughs> she be healing, boy. Healer. So, healing yeah. all in the sheets. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay, all right. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> Want to take it there? All right. All right. Oh, my God. Just lost yeah. a couple of ads just now, but um. I'm down for something like that. <laughs> he said, he said I'm down. Ads. You down for some healing Trojan. in the sheets? <laughs> for some sheep healing? Trojan gonna hit y'all up. <laughs> okay. Trojan hit that cell, bro. I'm. Bear skin. Trojan, Trojan black. <laughs> oh my god, man. The Trojan black. That's big cold ass boss. You gotta talk about it before every video. Hey man, you out here. <laughs> yeah, trying to get to down heal. with the get down. You tired of that feeling? Man, take that joke to the bedroom, but make what you do, make sure you use Trojan black. <laughs> Feels like nothing's there. <laughs> it feels like nothing there because it's not nothing now. It it's just there. air. They sold it's, you a condom. It's, 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 just the, it's just the band part that you just roll on. <laughs> no, it's just, it's, <laughs> the ring. Wait, it got, a, it got the pack. It got the pack. When you open it, up, it's like, wait, nothing in there. That's, that's, the, that's the illusion of it. That's the illusion oh, my God. You're not, it. you're not rolling nothing. That's why I feel like nothing there because it's nothing there. Damn. Hey, you got the condom, baby? Yeah, I got the condom. I, I don't right see it. No, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Oh, it feels like nothing's there. I know. Use your imagination. We're losing more. Use your imagination. If you believe the condom is there, it'll be there. Pregnancy. Pregnancy rates. That's going to be where protects you. Pregnancy rates go sky high. <laughs> you know what? It may go sky high after Kanye West's little uh, campaign run. Oh, I see what you did there. Okay. This nigga. Did you see that? He a senior now, y'all, right? Oh, man, he made did me proud. Well, I don't know because we quarantined, so he didn't get to finish. Like, <laughs> you right, you right. He's been taking oh, online classes. Wow. So, you know, he, he got, yeah, he got about wow. two semesters left. We have to that's, postpone classes. That's so. cold. Yeah, he well, got two semesters left until he gets associates. <laughs> You're right there, buddy. <laughs> Just wow, keep going. that's cold. Well, Kanye, his he is serious supposedly about this campaign of Shit his, out. and and uh, 
he said some very questionable things we will also talk about. But one of the things that I found quite hilarious is the fact that he's uh, he's proposing that every person with a child receive a yeah, million baby, dollars. No more plan B's, plan A's. That's that's exactly what he said verbatim. Plan I A's. Like that. So how do y'all feel about his uh, proposal idea? And do you think it's uh, something plausible and you know what? Economical? I, I, never really, I never really thought about Kanye voting, but I mean, um, for some reason, it's, he seems like he knows what he's talking about, man. Yeah, man. Like, uh, he seems like Kanye right. um, mm-hmm. actually might be the candidate that we may need. Neat. Um I think with all of us being millionaires, I think yeah, that would be nice. Would be uh, much be easier, and then we'll wake up from this dream that we're having. <laughs> um, I, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. I, and I think I think it's a bunch of niggas that you. Which what Kanye doing is he's catching dumbass fish. Yeah, like so you just saying something. Said, that I want a million dollars. I want a million dollars. I have kids too. I'm on a million dollars. Exactly. And so that's niggas like, that ain't like keeping up <laughs> niggas that ain't keeping up gonna be like, what? I want a, a million, million dollars. Million dollars. I want a million dollars. Oh shit. I have kids. I do have kids. <laughs> Two million dollars? I ain't I ain't get the stimulus check, so I'm I was looking forward to that. <laughs> Are you did it? Shit no, I did. Oh. Damn. Well Yeah. Some people got too. Maybe oh, yeah, able uh, to give you uh some millions, man. Yeah, maybe you can cut that. Both for Kanye, divvy it you up. make sure you get a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. That's there's no I'm way <laughs> the country. Goes <laughs> he said that's why I'm all for that. That's why I'm all for it. And so Listen, you know what? Shit. I'm looking for these nuts to run again. Okay, I'm might just you. might as well. Might as well. <laughs> might as well. I listen. Might he well. didn't even. The, the, the crazy thing is to get 26 percent that he was pulling. It takes millions of dollars. He or she got that with nothing. Like just. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> nigga, before you vote for these nuts, make sure you get Trojan Black. Um, because my <laughs> by y'all, uh, I'm out. <laughs> it's like nothing's there. Is that, is that an Amazon Echo? <laughs> it is. <laughs> you see, it's just like uh, it's nothing's the, the, there. Uh, the magnum of the Trojan Black <laughs> coming come one side. Trojan like Black coming one there. side. <laughs> One size fits all? No. One size fits one percent of the people. If it hang, don't bang. So be honest with yourself. To be honest with that's what it says on the label. That's the be slogan. Be honest with yourself. If it you hang, don't if this. it hang, don't bang. Wait. What? <laughs> we'll talk about it further more. I'm kind of confused. Like, oh, oh it's <laughs> hey, The condom. <laughs> How y'all not get that? If the condom itself hangs, don't bang. Don't bang. Oh, I thought you... Oh, you don't need to. Both of these nuts. Yep. I can't, be, I can't be the spokesperson that can't even use the product. That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's, go, let's go to something else. All right, here we go. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Oh, Trojan Black. <laughs> All right, good. Listen. Did you see it? <laughs> Vote <laughs> Damn, bro. No. <laughs> but no, uh, Kanye. Uh, that's stupid, man. Yeah, man. Uh he's he's serious. I know before we got on the on the podcast, we watched a, a clip and he started breaking down when he was talking about oh, he was <laughs> like someone hit the Aww. Aww. once that happened, the, the waterworks came. When you hear somebody say Aw, in the background, it's it coming. adds to the it's, emotion. It's, it's there now. You it can't hold it back. Harder, but, yeah. but see, but see, like I'm a I'm a Kanye fan. Mm-hmm. But I mean, when I first when I first heard the news about it, he was going, you know, run for president, whatever, 2020. I was like, what? Well, like the very very first time, like way back when, I was like, all right, may, maybe, okay, maybe. low, yeah. But then like now, nah, it's it, it, it's reoccurring now. He's like, yeah, you know, he holding rallies and stuff like that. I'm like, ah, nah, Kanye, uh-uh. No. Not only that, it make it worse because we got we got Donnie in office now. And it's like we can't I honestly think we can't go from Donnie to Kanye. No. Donnie. Like we know we know Donnie got issues. Donnie. But, <laughs> but Kanye got Donnie boy. Yeah, Donnie got issues, but Kanye like we uh uh-uh. uh. Nah. He may yeah, he may, uh-uh. Nah. He, he may be on like suicide uh-uh. work. Uh-uh. Yeah, just nah. uh-uh. You, you know what I'm saying? Like and I, this this my thing. 
I want I want celebrities to stop running for office. Yeah, stop, stop running talking for about it too. Stop running for senate. <laughs> stop running for mayor. Stop, stop running please. for president. Like I, I really just want somebody that, that know what they're doing as far as like politicking goes. Like yeah, we thought it was cool, you know, to have. Like I remember when with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Um. He got uh, the governor of California. Was mm-hmm. governor? Was yeah. governor of California? Yeah, it was governor. Yeah. Was like, oh, okay, you know, Swansea, how you doing it? I'll be back, you know, whatever, whatever. I... And then, I don't know. I think, and then I, I think right after that, like, The Rock was like, I was on TV. The Rock was saying he might run. I was like, all right, wait, wait a minute. Finally, um, The Rock. Hey, I vote for The Rock. back. Now, I, I was going to vote for, for No Celebrity. Let's get somebody in there that that that, the rock. that 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 know politics. He's, he's gonna lay. Politics, he's gonna lay the smack of down okay. on the taxes. He's gonna the smack of no, down. No, now, I get no, what you're saying though. Like somebody that's like been into politics, that's serious mm-hmm. about it, that that has a background of yeah. knowing and what they're doing, and you know, and had some kind of work in the, you know, in politics before, like changing stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, that's just like that's oh, that's almost like. Say you got a say you got a plumber issue in your bathroom, right? Oh boy! And you call in the plumber, and the guy that comes, he's like, "Hey, you the plumber?" He's like, "Nah, I'm really the electrician, but I I could try to fix your plumbing." He's like, "Nah, I, I don't want that. I want a plumber." True. Like, it don't look too bad. It's like, all right, he said, "It don't look too bad." Are you, are you qualified to be a president? It's like, nah, I I did like a like a reality show, but I, mean, I can learn on the spot right. right here if you let me. Like, no, oh, bro, I don't need that. Uh-uh. You got to think it's people that people voted you know, for that. Being a leader. <laughs> nah, that's facts, though, man. But, you know, it's, it's people out here that actually vote for people like that. And you sit there and realize, like, damn, like, you know, we be playing, but it's really some people that's serious as hell, mm-hmm. like about Donald Trump. Like, if you you be like, bro, do you not, do you just see some of the shit he doing? Like, are you, like, just looking for real? Are you, like... Really paying attention to the shit this nigga saying. <laughs> like you don't even have to really pay attention. You just have to look. You barely got to watch him. You can see all the right. shit that he do. <laughs> and mm-hmm. there's people really out here championing for him like nothing he's doing is wrong. And that that's a scary thing when people are that blind. I love people. Donald Trump. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, like, it's like, too. come on. I, like I love that. Donald Trump. He's amazing. They in that same boat, too. I hate to say it. <laughs> we don't like to get too political, but Come on, go ahead, it's, bro. Talk it's just you. one of those things where it's like, <clears throat> and I, I think it messes up what Kanye. I don't know what's going on in his thought process. I don't think anybody really knows. But I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. I'm a call it. <laughs> All right, call him, please. Oh, talk, talk about the major him. comment that he said about Harriet Tubman not um really freeing slaves. She just. Brought them to other white people. White people. Yeah, and see, that's a, that's another thing with that too. Like, and I'm, maybe this is just me, it's just me. But when that nigga say like, like crazy stuff, or like shit that's just like off the wall, I don't even. Be, I don't like take it serious. Like, oh, that nigga just, you know, he just, he just, he going off. So it's like, it's like y'all know that nigga night, not all the way there. Here. It's a mm-hmm. it, his light bulb kind of like, you know, it holds on the dot, dot down. On the dot, it's twitching and, you know, barely and stuff. Yeah, you feel me? So it's like, when a nigga <laughs> say stuff that's just like crazy, I don't even be feeding into it, all. And I, 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 I think, I, I don't think, we, I don't think everybody should. Like, don't feed into what the nigga said. Y'all know he's not. That's the thing. You, you like at a mature level where you can actually <laughs> do that. Like, when you got a fan, it's dangerous when you got a fan base because mm-hmm. people love, when people love you to an extent, like, so much, They'll damn near do anything or believe anything that come out of your mouth. So, I love that nigga to what if you but, do win? And what if he does win or he runs for something and he actually does get it? All that stupid stuff that y'all ignoring, yeah, it's going to be, become a part of who he is and what he like campaigns for. Mm-hmm. So it, nobody needs to ignore it. Like, somebody needs to be his friend. Like, Jay-Z, I, I know they're not really that Kite tight like they used to be or whatever, but someone got to say something. He needs to be like, bro, chill. And then when he start tweeting about Kim trying to take the kids away from him and like, when was <laughs> call this? A doctor, 
Oh, you ain't yeah, seen um, that? They've been having like relationship issues or whatever. Oh, yeah. Apparently. He just puts it all out there. He's like, yeah, him, him trying to leave and go and, going and, crazy. and send me off to a doctor. And I'm like, damn. He's trying to bro. get you help, buddy. He's trying to get He's you help, help, bro. I mean, yeah, she probably was part of the reason why you are psycho, more psycho, but I mean, at least you're trying to help. Damn. I don't, Damn, I don't like, feed into it. I don't, no, I, no, what, I'm, what I'm saying, when I, when I said, that, I wouldn't say like I ignore it, but it's no, just, I, got I, don't get, I don't get into an uproar like, what? He said, what? Like, I don't, I don't do that. Cause like, that nigga say silly ass shit all the time. Like, at this point, it's like, all right, that nigga going Don't he got an album me. coming out too? Maybe. I don't know. He, he's supposed to be, supposed to have some tracks coming up. Maybe I'm <clears throat> not sure. All I know is, uh, which is usually when he start doing shit like this. True, true. Yeah, um, when he came out with the Jesus album and he did all that, I'm he, Jesus, I'm God, and all said, of that. What you say, Ross? <laughs> I'm Jesus, bro. I'm Jesus <laughs> album, dog. Jesus, and then oh, it was supposed to be Yandi afterwards, but he ended up switching it to um, I forgot the like name. Yandi, right? Huh? I think you switched it to Ye. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was supposed to be the original uh, album a few years ago was going to be Yandi. Lisa can't well, everything, you bro. Dumb, bro. <laughs> I heard what he said, but I just ignored it because, you know, we're trying to pod <laughs> wait, here. Wait, you I, know missed what I'm I missed it. So, I missed it. I missed it. everything. Well, just, well, look, look, look. Ross was like, it was supposed to be Yandi. And then, um, uh, the, that's, see, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, yeah see. <laughs> see. I ain't even say nothing bad. I'm you figuring see, it out. That's cool, man. That's cool. Bro, you need some new friends, man. I've been telling you this for the longest. I know. I keep telling you that. She over there chilling, man. Just sleeping. Melissa, Melissa said it because she don't have friends. We're not her friends. <laughs> <laughs> All my friends are dead. Just Damn. Me too, yes. Let's go. With the team Jesus. <laughs> With the team Jesus. Jesus. That's hilarious. So technically, we're not voting for Kanye, right? I would hope people yeah, would go for him. <laughs> you can say that shit. You get to the poll like, mm, you see Kanye West at the <laughs> bottom. <laughs> and then at the polls, they playing his fake some of your favorite lyrics. Wake up, Mr. West, Mr. West. Like, oh, man, you know what? Hold on, hold on. They playing good morning? Shit. Good morning. Because they give you headphones. They give you some, some headphones. You can listen to your music or whatever. And you, Make up, yeah, because it, it's, it's going to take three minutes to vote. Yeah. I'm trying mm-hmm. to figure out where y'all get headphones from. The one I go to, just get in there, man. <laughs> Hurry up and go. Kanye. Exactly. It's a, it's all subliminal. Mm-hmm. I go to That's, the wrong voting booth. You, you, hey, so if... All right, let's, let's sweeten the pot here. Oh, sweet. If you vote, oh. if you vote for yay, you get you some free pair of Yeezys. Yeezys. Doesn't matter what, what they are. Free pair. My life are easies. No. I'm telling you, bro. I got drug. I don't need. I don't need. No, I know like, you good. I'm talking to about niggas who sell their soul for some <laughs> nah. bro, Can you imagine Braylon's Kanye? Can you imagine Kanye going to the UN? Like the, just oh, did, oh, no, 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 dealing no. with anything, just going across the country the like bottom just, grill. Yes, his bro. <laughs> And just saying what the he gonna be, he gonna be dressed like a homeless man with them meeting the pope, some space shoes. Yeah, you know. put a suit meeting on. The pope. I always wanted to hey, meet you, you know but what? I feel pope, like I you. I got you some new gear. Right, yeah, he's like gonna give the pope eat. some yeah, some the limited ones. edition off white. That would become fly. That would become fly. <laughs> See, <laughs> pope. Limit that would become fly. You so the pope get his own line. Hey, pope, I got you some new gear. Pope get his own line. Come on, man. You say, come on, man. Come on, man. I can't lie. I'll be be playing. You mean they use The Pope Pope put up there his his robe, and you see some some Jesus. Like, hold on. Pope? 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 He in the Vatican. He in the Vatican. Light work. Light work. Light work. Light work today. You know, I had to to walk and feed some homeless kids. Light work. He in the Vatican chilling. Chilling See? with the Yeezys, the off whites, the Pope edition. <laughs> There's only one of one in the world, right? Nobody mm-hmm. got it's just not even PJ Tucker. It's just the Pope <laughs> one of one. Say, not even PJ <laughs> Tucker, bro. The Pope <laughs> one of one. I'm mad at PJ Tucker. He ass on 2K. You know, I play with the Rockets, so 
But yeah, that's another story. Um, so yeah, man. Um, yeah, so it's crazy because when you was talking about the voting boost, um, I went and vote. Oh, was that last week? Mm-hmm. I think it was. So um, shout out to Malisha for the information on um, you know, the candidate that was running. Mm-hmm. Same, yeah. Texas, um, <clears throat> but yeah, like man, they were so welcoming when I went in there. Like, they was mm-hmm. like, oh my gosh, man, we've been waiting on you all day. Like, man, you're making me want to vote. Like, they made me feel special. Like, it was like they had gloves there, like mm-hmm. just throw away, and um, they made sure it was safe and all that. And it just they mm-hmm. made you feel like it was important. Like, what you was doing was important. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like more centers need to be <laughs> catered to. You know, welcoming people in, educating people, you know, if they, you know, need any information, not who to vote for, but, you know, just, mm-hmm. you know, helping you out if it's your first time and stuff like that. I think um, things like that is important, man, because it make you want to go back. It make you want to make your voice heard, you know, mm-hmm. especially with people with platforms like us, anybody, you know, like that shit matters. You know, we need to stop saying it don't matter and exercise. Out. Let's try it. If it don't matter, let's try it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Bro. Thanks. <laughs> That is my argument. That's my argument with anybody who was like, I don't know, don't well, I'm not standing in line for this right there because my vote, my vote, it ain't like my one little vote. It's not even your one little vote because there's a million people that think just like you. Mm-hmm. So that's a million votes right there. And if one person can change their mind and talk to five other people, everybody, each one reach one. Like you, you can, you can reach like that. one person. Right. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Like you... <clears throat> You you reach people by sterling being shit. that ain't sterling. I ain't, I'm gonna tell you right now. I ain't like, <laughs> said, that ain't that ain't it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. No, nah, what was it? No I child, think. no child left behind. <laughs> Niggas was definitely <laughs> left behind. Oh my god! No, definitely left right behind. I ain't gonna lie. Not even to mess up the conversation. When we graduated, it was so many people I had never seen. And I was just like, oh, these are the people that wasn't left behind. Yeah, like, the of course. sign made since then. I'm like, oh, okay. damn. Yeah, I just picked anybody to come graduate. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You want to graduate today? We got a gal. Size you wear. Wow. Put this hat on. But yeah, go ahead. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fool, bro. I, I mean, it's what it is. You know, everybody, everybody use their voice to, you know, for good. Everybody says they want to change, but, you know, the change starts with doing the simple stuff. Like, Voting in preliminaries, voting in your um, for your city councilman, like things like that. Because, like I said on the on the one of the other podcasts, like the the president is not the one who says, "Oh, Texas is going to do this mm-hmm. for the rest of these months." That's not I, that's not his legislature to pass. It's our senators, our congressmen, our um, city councilmen. Like I said, Royce West which is why I'm such a huge advocate for him. He was the one that introduced the um, the body cams. We were the first state to, to pass that. Mm-hmm. And then we were the example state for all the other states. So we're the reason why that even happened in the first place. He's the reason why that happened. You know, so right. it's, it's things like that that people don't know that they really should know and which helps them better, make better informed decisions on who to vote for. So right. tangent over Shout out to Texas. Shout no, out to real. Texas. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's 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 real when we like like when you're informative and you don't make people feel bad bad for not knowing that right. that helps a like a whole bunch as well because you know mm-hmm. when people people don't know like because I didn't even know about them as well in that information, but it wasn't like oh what you don't, uh, you don't know you about dumb. what you dumb you dumb yeah you know what I'm saying it's just like you know, dumb. <laughs> he said I'm not <laughs> dumb I'm you a smart man back. <laughs> say it again. But now, just um, say it again. That, I dare that's, you. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking out of here. Um, I'm not voting for sh- nobody now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going man. home. I'm going home. <clears throat> that's where my vote matters at home. <laughs> right K. in. Oh, she said on 2K. <laughs> but now, um, hopefully everybody, you know, take heed to that information because you know we got some real shit coming up. You know, the the, mm-hmm. the big boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to see how, you know, everything matters at that point. And I know everybody's saying, I don't know who to vote for. But, um, yeah, we're tired of the lesser of the evils. But we do have to think long term. You know, that's all I say. Think long term. Think how things already been, went for the past three, four, going on four years. So um, just think think about the, the next four years and how you want that to be. Um, 
Mm-hmm. These past four years have been crazy, bro. Yeah, I mean, 2020 summed up these past – I mean, they just put it all within one year. Yeah, um, right. But you can't, yeah. you can't necessarily really? knock 2020 because I feel like it's, it's 2020 is the year of the grass cutting. The snakes were exposed. Um, you got to see who people really were. You know, a mm-hmm. lot of things happen. Um, characters, um, you kind of get the real character of people. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I think a lot of real is coming out. You find out who's exposing. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you find uh, out who's really stupid. <laughs> I see a lot of people on Facebook like, man, I got to unfollow a lot of friends because of mm-hmm. racist, you know, antics and <clears throat> beliefs and certain things like that. And I'm just saying like that, that's real. I think this year really is exposing. Corona ain't real. It's all up behind. It's not yeah. real at all. Black people can't get it. Our skin, no. our melanin. You, know you don't what I'm need to like, wear a mask. A mask is not going to help you. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with this one? That's how they sound in my that's head. That's how niggas sound. That's, 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 that's how niggas that, that always got a, a fight for a some shit. A mask is not going to help you. That is, that is exactly that's that That's how voice. they sound in my head, bro. Why do we need to wear a mask? For why what? do we need to wear a mask? You know what? Right. I'm still, I'm, I don't care. It's not real. It, 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 it don't affect me. It only affects older people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This voice died. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> it's it's the truth, man. 2020 is, is exposed a lot of individuals that have uh, lost a couple or a few or quite possibly a million brain cells. And uh, they're just out here moving. It's the 5G towers. That's what I blame it on. It's the 5G oh, towers. Ah. Shout out, to, shout out to the homie Demond, bro. We we went by Walmart um, to pick up some stuff, bro. And we're leaving out of Walmart, mm-hmm. and uh, there's a tower uh, by Walmart. And he was like, Don't "Hey put man," him out, like- he was like, "Hey man, mm-hmm. has that tower always been there?" And I was like, "I was when he first asked. I was like, that's an interesting question to ask me if I knew <laughs> if a certain cellular tower always been there." And I was like, no, nah. I said, I'm not quite sure. Um, but why do you ask? He was like, oh, boy. I'm just saying, man, you know, that 5G stuff. <laughs> I was like, come I'm just on. saying, come man. Come on, bro. No. You know, that 5G stuff, this shit kind of crazy. They've been talking about that, bro. He said, no, nah, it is. man. Because he was like, it do uh, have a lot of radiation in it, man. And I was like, well, um, I personally felt like. Shut really, up, though. You're talking too much. He knows know, too right? much. <laughs> They, they don't cut your channel off. Car, podcasts go black. But um, <laughs> too much. I feel no, like we're the, we're a guinea pig generation, or um, anyway, like mm. I feel like um, our parents they didn't have Bluetooth, you know, they didn't have all these cell phones and you mm-hmm. know all this technology that we do. So I feel like we not even gonna see the results Mm-mm. of how this affects us until we get older if a lot of people get older because we haven't had to experience so much radiation. I mean, you mm-hmm. know, just, you got AirPods, you got mm-hmm. um, just headphones in general, um, the microwave, how you, mm-hmm. things you use for the microwave, putting it in there. If you're not warming it up, like in glass, if you're using plastic, I mean, it's just so much stuff. And I think we're kind of like that guinea pig generation that's going to like kind of figure out, like, Oh, oops. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, oops. I shouldn't have my food in that paper plate. <laughs> right. And just like I always say too, just oops. with our eyes, like looking at such pixelated images, you know, and so with the clarity of it, you know what I'm saying? And like a lot of people waking up in the morning and the first thing they do is just hurry up and look at their phone. It's like, bro, you ain't even letting your eyes <laughs> like adjust to the light. On. Yeah, like you just automatically, you know, so we don't know the effects of that over, you know, a strand of a period of time so yeah so i just try to not focus on it too hard i mean be mindful of what you're doing to kind of like listen oh you know? there's a tower I'm standing in, in front of them that's, that's <laughs> right peculiar. Like, that's weird it's weird, that's weird. They, they did this overnight the how the yeah. how the hell they do this without waking us up that's crazy huh? it's no need to worry about it all my my reception is fantastic though yeah my wife do, do they know <laughs> your shit is frying on the hips <laughs> 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 your shit is <laughs> you losing yourself slowly and slowly and just don't even know. Oh, damn, I always have headaches when I come home. What's going on? <laughs> then you put a few weeks later, I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it. 
No, nah, that's reality though, bro. On the cool, bro. It's this is just Malik times is changing. Us. Times is changing, and uh, yeah. it's one of those things we we just gotta kind of get adjusted to it. I think when it comes to just the human like nature and how we adjust as humans, like of course, as time and technology progresses, I think naturally our body genetically creates something where the next generation would be more accustomed to what's happening. So, for example, if you was to pick somebody from the 1800s, put them in this time period, not only I don't think their immune system wouldn't be able to handle it, they'd probably get killed from a common cold. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a different time period. Their bodies that's a, were that's adjusted. A, that's a good question because, or a good statement because, I don't. I mean, yeah. I think it. But, I think. I think just the way how our our bodies work, certain things that we get adjusted to now, we carry it on to our children. And then okay, children so are we weaker? Up. Are we not to cut you off, but are we weaker or stronger than the last generation when it comes to stuff like our body and stuff? Like, because hmm. they didn't take medicine for every little thing. But they would they were dropping like flies. The average right. life expectancy was like 30 years old. And okay, what we talking about? Them. We talking about kings and queens or because niggas was getting their head cut off for still in the piece of bread. Just, we can go back as to 1800s. Still, the average life expectancy wasn't that high. I think yeah. I think it I, I believe because of the advancement in technology and us exploring no, for things, sure. I think it's helped us genetically in a sense to live a little bit longer because you're you're able to, I guess. You have these vitamins, like, you know what I'm saying? We grew up saying, you know, taking vitamins and, you know, we also have the internet around us. So, you know, okay, maybe I should, you know what I'm saying, eat more of this type of fruit, or maybe I should eat more of this type of food or whatnot. You kind of have all this access to all these different avenues of trying to figure out how to better your life, you know, your lifestyle and, of course, the investment in technology. So I think, honestly, I think we were more durable now than we were back then, only because of the advancement in technology. Yeah. So, I, I mean, so that's that's why I was saying that because I feel like if you do put somebody in this day and age, the only thing that differs between now and then is just the the technology and the, the, the resources of, like, medicine and the medical field. So Just I think, think about it. That's the only thing, though. Think about it. Uh, like people that have caught the coronavirus or whatnot, mm-hmm. and those that uh have no symptoms or anything like that, they're they're perfectly immune to it or whatnot, and they're being able to move around, act normally, whatever the situation is. You put that some, you put that same person that's immune or whatnot to in a a later time period or earlier time period, that could be start of uh, another plague because once again there's no advancement there and people were dropping like flies no pun intended you know what i'm saying like niggas was literally dropping left and right just off of stuff that we probably you know we had i think everybody here has had like at some point of a fever or a cold at some point in i thought you were about to say everybody didn't have the covid no 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 i'm talking (laughs) about nah nah. hey wait wait where you going buddy (laughs) nah but everyone's had like a common cold you know what I'm saying? And a yeah. common cold back then could have been deadly, but even though it can't be deadly now, it's you have things to treat it. You know, but see, that's that's technology though. That's not just the human themselves. But with with technology, if you incorporate that in just your lifestyle off rip, it should help you, you know, live a little bit longer in a sense of if you're taking certain stuff or you taking certain precautions. That's what I mean by that. Cause it, it's a double edged. You're still sword. talking about two different things. What you mean? Because if you take a person from the 1800s, <laughs> yeah, and put them in now with mm-hmm. our technology, we should be able to keep them staying out. Like I wouldn't keep I, them alive. But the reason why I would disagree on that is because they mm-hmm. would be exposed to a whole different atmosphere and air and everything else. So mm-hmm. by me and you talking to them, say. We just have a common cold. They can end up dying from the shit. I don't got the me? COVID. I don't got the COVID. <laughs> oh my god, cold! I keep saying cold. <laughs> oh, you saying because of like lack of um, immunizations and stuff like that. Yeah. And oh yeah, because what we have going on now in this 
you know, our ecosystem and whatnot, yeah, they would definitely die. They probably step outside <gasps> and like die. I know, but it, I mean, if our technology is so good, we should be able to. If we could try to saw people's head off and put it on another body, I think we should be able to save somebody. Now that's a whole nother. You're right. You're right. Right. Um, look, I mean, the flu, oh. influenza, the first strand ever, <laughs> like killed millions of people. But now, because COVID, we have what COVID doing? the vaccine, I mean, it's not in the millions yet. So not it yet. is at a million, I think. Oh. Is it worldwide? Let's yeah. check. That's I, what was the... talk, I was talking about Harris County. <laughs> he said I was talking about Harris County. Well, that's I don't know. Highly self- I hope not. Damn, I that's... hope. <laughs> if it killed a million people in Harris County, okay, I would that mean, not. Bro. I would... He would I would cut off the Zoom call. <laughs> Ross clearly said he had it because he thought all of us didn't, didn't, didn't already have Oh, wow. I was cold. talking about the cold. Who had COVID? I don't have Gray, COVID. didn't he switch it? He was like, all of no. us, I'm sure all of us didn't have Don't do that, uh, Gray. Don't, <laughs> don't, cold. don't be his devil's advocate. <laughs> do not do that, bro. When he seen us reacting, he said, uh, the no, cold. no, no, right? no. We didn't all have In the Harris County, the, the, the death toll is 561. But the total confirmed is fifty eight thousand four hundred eighty. Oh, that's not bad at all. Still See, bad, but wow, fifty eight thousand people toxic. got it. Team Jesus. I think it is bad. That's the reason why I don't have it because I believe in in Jesus. Oh God, Jesus oh, has saved playing. you. This is intermission for me. Yeah, By the grace of God. Uh. Uh-uh. Hey, Amen. My food just hold on. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> She say something like that and then dip out. Oh, no, I, th- I, I get what you're saying, but no, I, just, I, I, I think wish we could do, like. I wish we could test it, like you know, <laughs> you build a time machine <laughs> and get a nigga from the 1800. <laughs> Where are you hell? taking me, Harriet Tubman? <laughs> so we can go meet Kanye. Hey, Kanye, did you really free slaves? To to you. Okay, that's all I want to make sure. <laughs> got somebody Kanye, for you. We got someone to talk to you. Oh man, it's not it's not what you it's not what you think. He got Jesus walks playing in the background. <laughs> God stole me away. <laughs> the devil trying to take me. <laughs> with ye, with ye, with ye, hey, you get it, you get it. Oh my God, yeah, bro. y'all voting for Kanye. But now, um, <laughs> what was the next topic? Oh no, um, that video of me and you was talking about uh, about the chick that was at the airport. And her dude basically had to come to her rescue because yeah, she was the getting white guy. jumped. Yeah, the white guy, he had to come to her rescue. I don't know what had happened. Hey, what? Yeah, basically, a chick was at the airport bumping at the gums. There was a, a group of black uh, women. They were I don't know how the altercation started, but oh, they Lord. were going back and forth. And apparently, there's a clip out there where the the white lady, she ends up hitting one of them. And that's when a brawl ensued. And basically, the boyfriend or the husband, whatever, he just laid on top of her as they proceed to give them the beats. <laughs> that's he pretty much the gist of No, dude. I, I'm, I don't know. He failed, but just she's on the ground and he's on top of her as, like, you know, trying to protect her. And they just. I got beat. you, babe. Yeah, I got you, babe. And they just getting stomped out. I think he has the clip. Oh right here. Lord, he didn't pull up the footy. <laughs> and someone said, "What'd you say, Ross?" And someone said, "This is the <laughs> definition of staying ten toes down with your girl." I was like, "Wow." Oh boy. Oh Lord, they look like they just came from Miami. Mm-hmm, they had a good time. You can tell. Oh. Not at the carousel. I like it. So I think the this girl. is this is him on top of like they jumping uh the white dude's girl. And I think this is on top of him trying to take the punches for him. I got you. For the people listening, we're watching the video. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, she was a big one though. You seen her? She was kind of tall. Yeah, she, was, hey, walk up, walk up, walk up. she looked kind of scary. Oh, What's the Damn. Did he say where 
ladies right here. She just laying like a plank. Bro, that got to be embarrassing. Like, I know he, was probably, he probably was in the ear and was like, you see what you did? Look, look what you put us in. <laughs> so, Ross, ask the infamous question, man. So, the infamous question I asked to Dub was, would you jump in if, <laughs> yo, if your significant other was getting jumped by some Hold women, on, quick. would That's you some... jump in? Oh, yeah. We, we throwing bows. <laughs> we thought both. That was that was the infamous question. I thought it was gonna be a little harder than that. Yeah, I, <laughs> that nigga great. Yeah, I, I, that would, I would jump in. That's the one time a female could get it. That's the one time. So depending on how big time. she is, I'm gonna just try to sling them. Like I'm just trying to th do a lot of throwing. Oh, you know oh, 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 that's why it was infamous. You said, would you would you jump in no, if your girl it. was in jump and you yeah. had to put your hands on some women? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why. You the fuck I say yeah. Damn, he still didn't think twice. <laughs> I'm thinking twice. Does she you have to be wait? Yeah, does she have to be getting jumped, Grayley? <laughs> he said, "Does she have to be getting jumped?" <laughs> nah, man. That's that's easy. Yeah, if, your, easy. Girl, if your girl get jumped by you know some girls, like yeah, what you gonna do? Just try to nah, yeah. Please, can you please get off my baby? Like, can you stop? Yeah, please. <laughs> if it's, my dude was getting jumped, I'm going. Oh, we already know. Well, that's get that's okay. that, get to get to get. that women hitting men. That don't that's that don't get you know. Yeah, that's not big news. Especially when the adrenaline rushing, you don't even feel that shit. So, right. Yeah. Oh, you gonna you gonna feel it? Oh, nah, she don't feel my shit. To go reload. Oh, to come oh you gonna feel it? Get the get, get the get, get the get. <laughs> so Ross, of course, bro. What do you mean? I've been really fucked up. Then they gonna moonwalk on their face. Oh, <laughs> no, bro. She say they gonna. He's see. Girl. Now you see the asshole is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's 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 cool. <laughs> it's it's gonna be no dancing at that point. It's, it's, it's straight Royal Rumble. I'm, we going for the tag team champion. I have a question, but I don't want to be the asshole. Number one. Nah, <laughs> bro. Wait, 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 what happened to the pod, man? Nah, bro. Cause y'all, you and Malaysia be coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the pod? Let's say you walk in Blondie Ross. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been nice. I'll see you guys later. Wait, you bro. Guys. Wait. I thought this Shout was a serious question. Squad. You know what I'm saying? Four dogs. Four dogs. dogs four dogs. Four dogs hit the corner. Yeah. Four flares for Blondie. Oh no, I've been in this situation. That's why I think you're being thank funny. Thank y'all. Why y'all trying? Nah, I'm, for, I'm really serious. I've been in this situation, so I I know what happened with this. All story. right, so elaborate. I don't know if I if I should tell this story. Go but, ahead, uh, bro. No, I'm telling you. We plotting. We plotting. Wow, like, y'all some assholes. When do when does everybody else start healing? Why I gotta saying. heal? I'm healed, bro. It'd be it'd be a two, it'd be a two man cold. Never bro. Bro. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Come all on, she did, all she did was threw on a Team Jesus shirt. Yeah, healed. I'm healed. Oh, I'm yeah. healed. Jesus did the deliverance. Okay. He paid the price. Uh, well, for those who want to know this also great story that Dub has kind of just put out there, yeah, I, was um, I was walking Blondie. It was a few years ago. And I've seen these dogs before. It's like three German shepherds. It was... Two of them regular color, and it was one. I don't know if he was a German Shepherd or not, but he was all <laughs> white. He was all German white. So, at my heels. I was just about to say that. Blah, blah, he goes. So it was three German Shepherds, two all I of need them is regular one. color, and, and there was one that was white. And I've seen them in the neighborhood before, but, you know, I'm in my car, so I'm not worried about it. So the one day I walked Blondie, never forget this, I'm walking or whatever, they weren't there. No dogs was in sight. We had our little walk. This is good. This was before she had the cough, too. This is all before then. So pre-cough. So, pre-cough pre pre Blondie. Blondie. Was, she, was she was young. Her she, shit at too. this point, I don't think we, uh, like, we had just got her maybe a year, two years in, or whatever. So we walking back. It's a beautiful day. It was sunny. It was great. 
And then next thing this I know, remember the day because no, it, it scared me. Day it was sunny. <laughs> you don't understand the fear I had in my life, bro. I said, well, I was paid the picture for real. <laughs> so oh there was no, three the, the same dogs that I mind you that's been in our neighborhood just wrecking shop. Them niggas roll up on me because they was on across the street. I'm like, please don't see me for the love of God. Please don't see me. They look. They stopped all three, and then them niggas ran across the street full speed. I'm like, bro, this is how I go out. Oh my god, bro! So three, three German shepherds. Three German shepherds, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. Then I was like, yo, I'm done. And I think the only thing that saved me <laughs> is because Blondie was there, and they they started sniffing Blondie. I'm shaking, bro. I'm not moving, bro. <laughs> they all around me, and they start sniffing Blondie. Oh, you smell good. This your nigga. <laughs> and then they left. All three left. They didn't do nothing. They didn't bark. They just left. And I was they like, got Blondie and go. I picked up Blondie. I ran full speed on, to the house after we got around the corner. Ran full speed. And that was the last time I walked Blondie ever again. No, no lie. <laughs> that was the last time I ever walked her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she's toxic, bro. I told you, bro. She's number one. She's she number one for sure. She did the run oh gesture, bro. God. Did you did you did you do the Heisman? No, did you I'm do sorry. Like, no, I I just cut her right here. Just raw stop. Boom, boom, boom. Don't 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 don't, don't. <laughs> Don't I'm not worrying about it. her, man. I'm healed over here. Oh, I'm wait, healed. Why they, why they, <laughs> I'm why, healed, man. Why they, why they, why they sniffing like love? They, no, what, what I will never know. I don't never know. I don't know what it was. So wait, did all three of them sniff her? Or wait like, a minute. No, the, uh, clearly the y'all, alpha y'all male did. He said pre-cough. He said pre-cough because he didn't want to signify that she was sick, and that's why they left him alone. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> That's it right there. There she is. You're your champion right there. Man. I mean, I love Blondie. I, no, I you don't. You don't, Bl- you don't love Blondie. You don't love Blondie. Hey, bro, that's you the champion right there. I'm glad you and Blondie. I'm glad you and Blondie still with us. Um, mm-hmm. Me too. Because it could have been bad. Yeah, that's a hard way to go out too. It yeah. could be more hilarious. <laughs> but thank God it wasn't. Man. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's this so, could have been <laughs> nipping at your heels and your ankles, bro. Yeah. Nah, I had no time to run, bro. Nigga. I literally so, had no this, time. This is the real run. question. <laughs> this is the real question. What were you doing while they was sniffing Blondie? Like I told you, I was shaking. My name. No, like, I just. I really there's nothing I could, I could do. It was. I was. You like, just Yo. accepted it. Yeah, bro. Nah, nah, it was. It was. It was one thing you could have did. <clears throat> no, bro. If they <laughs> right there. I'm you not let gonna, that leash go. You let that nah, leash go. You take a couple steps back. You nah. haul ass back home. No, nah, bro. I wasn't about to risk it because they were literally That's right in front up, of Grayley. me, bro. No, no, Grayley, you number one. No, uh, clearly they weren't let the leash go and do two two steps back. <laughs> they clearly weren't gonna hurt. Haul ass back home. <laughs> wow. And Blondie was over there sniffing. All right. Mm, that nigga smell yeah, good. This, All right. Yeah, yeah. This my nigga. Uh huh. Yeah. And then they left. Yeah, bro. That's my man. Too. I will man. never forget oh, that, bro. Them, I, they I, all we it, together. And the only thing him? that made me remember it because it was a white one. I was like, oh, he the alpha. He gotta be. That's like, racist. Why the white one gotta be the alpha? No, because he was the first one that rolled up, and then the rest of them kind of, you know, what I'm saying followed. Suit. His, his name was Christopher Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> what CC? <laughs> Dude, this, I, hey, I, I, I want to know where them dogs at, man, because they could have snapped my shit up. Thanks, Blondie. Oh, I, y'all get Blondie some. Come on, man, she, get Blondie some for that, man. Blondie saved your life, bro. She literally did save my life, bro. Where she at, man? She sleep right now. Life. I'm gonna mm-hmm. keep her sleep. Save both of y'all. Thanks, life, Blondie. Bro. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you, Blondie. Blondie saved my Let's fucking cross life. Who? Cause yeah. All you would have heard is screams, just just unbridled <laughs> high screams. I don't know why, nigga. You better fight. There ain't much I can do, bro. You better fight your way, up. man. Come on, bro. You going out? You gotta fight. Against the dogs too, man. You gotta fight. We can't go to no funeral, like man. You know this nigga died. Nah, man. what happened, hype man? A couple of German shepherds took him out. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he ain't even fight. Look at his hands. Ain't even big. Up. His hands all clean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he ain't fight back. He ain't uh, got fighting. No 
He ain't got no scars on his knuckles. <laughs> you got nothing. Uh, nigga look beautiful. Just, oh, oh. <laughs> Purina I, fine. It's it's just, just, like I said, I, I thought my life was done that day. I was like, damn, bro. Some dogs well, wait, why, get me. Why wasn't your first instinct to like pick up Blondie and run? Because it was too late. They just came <laughs> out of nowhere. tell you, when they popped around that corner like, what's up, nigga? It was raps. There was I didn't even have time to process. You peed a little I need bit, to huh? Get out of there, bro. It was you peed a little bit, huh, bro? Because I like I said, I just <laughs> was didn't open. I know I did not pee. I was good. I just knew one man, little twinkle. Know, nah, it was nothing like that. It was oh, just one of those things where it's like, yo. Oh. Sometimes when people be like, shit happens so fast, you don't even have time to react. That's one of those things because them niggas, they they was running that that cul sac apparently. Okay. Just dropped it. Just nah, bro. Because then they would have chased me, and I would have lost that. Cut, cut, nah, you gotta pick up nah, something, bro. Wait. No, bro. I've <laughs> trust me. I've had my fair share of running dogs, and if it wasn't for <laughs> certain <laughs> situations, <laughs> oh, that ain't the first time. You know, been through. Yeah, it's not the bro, first time, bro. I ain't gonna even count. Me and Ross was leaving this uh, event one day, and uh, <laughs> we parked. Now you got to park on the side of the street. He was like on our meter. And um, of course, this nigga, media. this nigga heard a dog barking. <laughs> and he like, you know how like when something happened to you, traumatic, you kind of like show it. So the dog oh, just yeah. started barking and runs to the gate. And Ross was like, "Oh shit!" And he was about to start running. I'm like, "Ross, calm down, bro. This nigga nah, in the whole bro. gate." And he was like, "Nah, bro. <laughs> so nah, bro. Ross, you <laughs> must you must you must have walked home at, at uh, school as a kid, huh? Nah, no, no. Nope. It's just I Ross, got caught in chase all the time. I got called in. There's a lot of dogs in my fucking neighborhood. That's why I stopped walking in my neighborhood. There's too many dogs, bro. Did that nigga go? They go to dancing, boy. <laughs> bro, used, they, used, we've had. I used, to and, walk, I used to walk home. I used to walk to school and from school. So that's how I got chased all the fucking time. Nah, bro. Nah, but see, your first, your first instinct bulls. is to jump on a car. Well, there was no cars, bro. I'm telling you, it was a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and some shit went left before I could do anything. Like I said, if I didn't have Blondie there, I was done. Blondie saved my life. You wouldn't even try to run? Like, oh, I, go, I didn't have enough time to Blondie run. Blondie say somebody talking about me? Yeah. She gonna turn her face and was like, hmm? Yeah, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I saved you, nigga. You know, right. Don't forget. <laughs> she did yeah, save my ass. <laughs> so there you go. There you go, Give me man. We glad you're here, man. Glad you made it, and um, appreciate. Shout out to Blondie, man. Yeah, that would been hilarious. Even that would have been really hilarious. We're still glad you here. Dog. It's a few bites. Just a couple war wounds. No, bro. I ain't trying yeah, to get no, bit no, by no, no dog. Yeah, that, that builds character. No, it don't. <laughs> what don't? What don't kill you? What don't kill you? Make you stronger, dog. Yeah, man. Make no, you appreciate bro. life a little more. You know. Nah. We'll I'm good. We'll call you a uh, scar. You know. I'm good, bro. You yeah, should have just that, bit him a, on the ear. That's a badass name. Nah, I'm good, bro. He's called you. Hey, Scar. No. Hey, <laughs> Scar. He bit hey, Scar. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah, good, bro. I'd have been I'm in the good. trenches with them Germans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd have no, been in the trenches. bro. Not the trenches with the Germans. But now, um, this is a dope episode. You know. Um, yeah, I bet it was. It was great. It ended, it ended right. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. the way it used to. Hey, y'all want to yeah. see a clip of when we used to talk about Ross all the time? About- <laughs> there she go. There she go. I know. There I she go. No, I, I actually I sent it in the group chat. Remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But see, there she go. I know. Ross, Bring that it was up. funny. It was, so it wasn't funny, Ross. Favorite part. So it wasn't funny. No. Was right. thinking I, I cracked a smile. Was that the one we were talking about the dinosaurs? It was, um... What was we talking? Oh, the Velociraptor, the Noah. I'm mm-hmm. really just trying to figure out what episode. I think no, I think that was a different one. I think that was a different episode. When we was well, the story, it always ends on Blondie. The end. But this Thanks, was good because she saved your life. We people never knew that. People never knew that Blondie saved your life. So I never knew that either. <clears throat> she's a hero. She she yeah. Not hero. somebody who had not, look. Not all the people who have something to talk about in the comments, bro. Yeah. Gonna be like, oh, yeah. He proud. Look, he proud. <laughs> he proud. No, I'm not proud of this at all. Comments gonna be on fire, bro. Yeah, yo, yo, Instagram finna be shooting up. Yeah, you, and Blondie Instagram too. <laughs> Blondie about to get a whole cake. Yeah, a whole stack. No, bro. Why y'all let it go follow the homie Domino? 
Go follow the homie Domino on Instagram. <laughs> Yo, Instagram's gonna be on fire. <laughs> Bro, so I heard about I heard about the dog store. I just want to send my condolences. Oh my gosh! Like, bro, bro, nobody died. I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, bro. Fuck my my uh, social media. Happened to me when I was five. But um, nah, man, we love y'all for checking in, man. As usual, episode twenty nine in the books, in the wraps. Um, can't wait till we check out the next one. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, nothing too crazy goes on. But um, I'm sure it will. yeah, as usual, it's just. Level seven of Jumanji. Something this um, week is gonna happen. Watch. It happens. No, every that. week happens. Something gonna happen tomorrow. Something good. Claim Hopefully. It. I wasn't ready for tomorrow. Maybe like you know Sunday. Yeah, the bubonic plague is nine on humans. Whoa! But did you see? <laughs> All right, so that was episode twenty nine. Um, <laughs> um, okay. No. Yeah, I seen it, but we'll talk about it another time. Episode twenty nine. Ow! <laughs>